Hello, welcome to another Science in Minutes. I'm Mr. Hull, and I have a special guest today. I'm Asher uh, in sixth grade. All right, and Asher has uh, brought an experiment for us to do uh, a demonstration of a chemical change. But before we do it, I want you to notice that we are well protected. We have eye protection, skin protection, and protection for our clothing on. So always wear protection if you're going to be dealing with chemicals. So a chemical change is what? It's when matter uh, changes um, into, something into a new, into a different type of matter. Like yeah, so yeah. matter can't be created or destroyed, only changed. So chemical change happens when something new comes out that wasn't there before. So today, what did you bring with you? I brought a hand warmer. And what is a hand warmer supposed to be? Uh, it's to heat your hands up at like a soccer game or something similar to that. Yeah, and so you, know, you would uh, you get this started and put it in your gloves or your coat. And it would it would keep you a little over warm during an outdoor activity. So it works because of a chemical change. Do you want to tell us the science behind how hand warmers work? The science behind it is that there, it's a combination of iron powder, water, activated charcoal, vermiculite, cellulose, and salt. It when it's exposed to oxygen found in the air. Uh, the iron gets oxidized, and it releases heat in the process. And it also gets up to 135 Fahrenheit. It's pretty warm, okay? So you're really not supposed to cut these open. Um, you wouldn't cut them open to use it, but for this demonstration, we're going to do that. So you mind cutting that open and pour that in that glass beaker carefully. So there's a the thermometer in here, and I want you to notice that it is about 72 Fahrenheit, or about 20... 24, 22 or 24 Celsius. Okay, so he has poured that stuff in there, and I want you to see immediately what's happening. There's steam being given off. There's vapor being given off, okay? So let's see. Wow, the temperature's already shot up. Look at that. So we said it was 22 Fahrenheit. It's already gone up over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Can you see that there? It's almost up to 30 degrees Celsius. Um, this reaction's happening fast, and it's not real easy to see um, with your with your eyes exactly what's happening. But what are some signs that a chemical change is going on? What are some uh, possible signs? Bubbles, heat, sound, light, um, air. Yeah, so it's stuff that wasn't there before, right? So you see that there's water vapor being given off. There's heat being given off. Um, this one doesn't have sound or light, um, but it's definitely giving off some heat. So you have these reactants that were in the bag already, the, the charcoal, the, the iron powder, water, the, uh, the vermiculite, the cellulose, and the salt. And then with the last uh, thing that came in, the last thing that was uh, the reactant that came in was the air. And so yeah. when it hit the air, uh, the, it produced the heat. The product was the heat yeah. that's being given off. So let's see what our temperature is now. We are well over 100, um, we're almost to 100 degrees, 110 degrees Fahrenheit and rising. We are at more than 40 degrees Celsius. It's, you can see it rising. So chemical change is occurring here. And heat is one of the things, one of the products of this chemical change. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much for bringing that uh, uh, to show us today. And always be safe. If you're going to try this at home, have an adult around, please, always. Uh, and protect yourself before you do it. And as always, science is... Fun. and all around us. Yes.